How's it going? And welcome back to their Pokemon Unite video here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be showcasing some gameplay with what is actually the character I've played the most of in Pokemon Unite, and that is Mystic Fire Sylveon. There's something very soothing about just getting to jump around the battlefield wherever you want to go with Mystic Fire having a pretty short cooldown and basically never needing to aim skill shots with uh, Draining Kiss being an auto hit and Mystic Fire flames darting off in whichever direction they feel like. In the most recent patch notes, it was listed as a bug fix for Mystic Fire targeting AI, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really know that I've noticed all that much of a difference between how this ability behaved with its targeting before and after this bug fix. If you've noticed a difference, let me know in the comments down below. As far as the item loadout goes this character today, I'm still playing Potion for my battle item because I like the tankiness this provides in the early laning phase, especially I'm playing Buddy Berry and Focus Band to lean into this even more. My third item has been kind of rotating since they nerfed Score Shield up. Uh, I think Assault Vest is very good, although it's a little bit high variance because if there aren't special attackers on the opposing team, you basically have a wasted item slot. In today's video, I'll be playing Energy Amplifier, which helps with the fact that Sylveon's Unite Recharge Time is actually a little bit on the long side, so it brings it down in line with other characters that get their Unites back faster a little bit with the extra recharge, and it gives you a little bit of extra damage when you land with this attack to keep yourself alive. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the match highlight. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Pokemon Unite here on YouTube. Are a little bit weak. History is not terrible. They're gonna have a guard or a Greninja in path though. Hopefully they'll be. They'll be in path with us. Just got that one at least. That's good. Oh, my focus actually didn't rock there. Weird. Trying to move away if I get solo XP. I ah, still didn't evolve. Tilt. That one. Oh. The tree is unkillable, chat. Maybe not all of its buttons are down. And we don't need to knock out the tree. Getting getting our dunks in there and getting the experience from that is uh, is huge. That's what we're looking. That's what we're looking for in a push like that. We don't need to knock them both out. We just want to deposit all of our Aos energy, so that way we can get the experience from doing so. All right. It looks like our bottom path people actually griefed the center, which is not great. Pre-dunks.
Oh my god, I died because my Unite move had to press the second button, shit. The number of times I die because you have to press two buttons to gain your Unite move is just way too high. You shouldn't have to press a button when there's only one option. Well, I'm glad I walked back down here, I guess. Oh, our frog still hadn't united. Nice, Espeon, well played. All right, is our center going back to the center or am I jungle Sylveon no? now? Our center knows that the buff still exists. Good job. That's exciting. This is after the first Dreadnought is when you learn if your center gets it. If your center goes back to do the center after after first Dread, they understand their role. Them breaking our top point here is not a big deal. In fact, you could argue it's ideal. I should have I should have just backed up and done the Dinos there. There's no reason for me to push up, no unite move or anything like that. And then I beat I beat it our friends into doing it too, so our team dying there is largely my fault. Encourage them to walk up when I shouldn't have. Just farm this, they're working on either Unite move back. There are three of them here. Let's try and keep Venusaur alive. Oh my god! <laughs> The last pixel chat, it keeps getting us today. I feel like we've been last pixeled three or four times. kingdom for a full heal, huh? Our Venusaur has Unite move and is coming back. We got the objective. Okay, clean. Good, 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 good. That fight could have gone better, but all as well that ends well, I suppose. We no longer want the Venusaur to Unite. Yeah, yeah, we got moon blasted and then thunderbolted and it was just, it was all over. There's a bunch of them bottom. I don't think that was a particularly large overcap there. Our Venu United shit and it died anyways. All right. All right, I didn't I didn't get last pixel that time. That was a Pikachu unite.
get slowed when you walk through the trap kick? It's wild. My frog get out of there thanks to my buddy barrier? I think my buddy barrier saved the frog there. Ninetales here. I thought our frog surfed across it, but Ninetales got it. Whew. I got some good picks there. The Pikachu at 205, and then the Zarina and the Frog taking the fight top path at, uh, at right at the end. Alright, what are our stats like? Nine knockouts, 16 assists. Highest damage dealt, almost highest damage taken, most damage healed. Not quite the triple star, but pretty close. GG's, I wasn't in your last game. God bless you. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Remember, if you enjoyed it, tap that like button, leave a comment down below with what your favorite part was, and share it with a friend. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Pokemon highlight here on YouTube. Hopefully see you again then.